This intelligent cocktail mixer or this robot might have been manufactured by a large company, but in fact, they are the outcome of something called the Maker Movement. The Maker Movement is a tech influenced DIY community. The combination of ingenious makers and innovative technologies, such as VR or 3D, are driving innovation in China. Some makers go on and become entrepreneurs, while others take this as a hobby. A good example of this innovative spirit is Mr. Sun Shuqian. His passion for robots led him to engineer on his own a transformer and this amazing dragon. His hobby then developed into a formal job. Now, his own company has clients in Hollywood and Japan. I used to really like robots when I was a kid, but back then I couldn't afford them. I could just build robots using paper or rubber. Afterwards, I was admitted to China Central Academy of Art and I decided to specialize in robots. But it's not all about looks. Dasung is a Beijing company that came up with this electronic ink in monitor. You can protect your eyes when writing for a long time by connecting it to your computer or tablet. Here's how they came up with the idea. Our founder used to be a science fiction writer. He used to sit in front of the computer for a long time in order to write books. While doing that, he realized that the computer screens made his eyes very tired. That's why he decided to find a way of solving this problem and thought he could use the great technology behind ebooks in order to come up with this screen. Traditional arts like ancient Chinese pottery are also getting attention. 3D printing started as a hobby for Huang Xiu. Now he uses it to show how this traditional art can be done at modern speed. Our 3D technology isn't the fastest, but 20% of our products can dry in about an hour or so, depending on the water conditions we apply, compared to how long it takes for traditional pottery to dry, which is up to one week. This grassroots movement shows how the spirit of innovation is taking hold in Beijing and generating international business for companies. For the organizers, who estimate an attendance of 30,000 people at Make Fair, Beijing has one of the world's most ideal climates for innovation. To begin with, Beijing is China's capital and is full of many cultural resources. Beijing's advantage is in how we can mix the most traditional aspects of Chinese culture with the latest innovations in technology, such as intelligent printing, 3D printing, etc. Our hope is to build a bridge between traditional Chinese culture and cutting-edge technology. According to a research paper published by the Great Wall Enterprise Institute, in March 2016 the city boasted more so-called unicorn companies than Silicon Valley, that is, tech startups valued at more than $1 billion each. Proof that China's capital is slowly but steadily becoming an international innovation hub. Ruben Rodriguez, CCTV, Beijing.